I'm Momtaz and today I'm joined by vocalist Sohini Alam. Sohini, welcome to the studio. Thank you for having me. So you're actually a third generation singer. You grew up with music. What was it like growing up in such a creative environment? It was really wonderful actually. I got to uh, sing with my cousins and my aunts and my grandparents. Uh, so we had music around all the time. My mother would teach it to other people. So it was, it was really nice. I, I got to listen to a lot of music growing up. And in terms of singing, what language were you actually singing in? Uh, I grew up, I tr my training was primarily in, in Bengali music. So, I mean, I grew up listening to a lot of different kind of music, but my training and my singing was usually in Bengali. So in terms of what you're doing today, you obviously sing in Bengali, you also sing in English, but you work with musicians from all over the world. So what's it been like kind of bringing that Bangla element into what you're doing? Well, the thing is, in London, there are musicians from all over the world, which is a really amazing resource. Um, and it's, it's, it's a place where a lot of people have come to, you know, call home, maybe because like me, they are parents of immigrants. Um, and it's been really interesting to be able to see uh, and to look for and find commonalities between our different kinds of music. Uh, and so for me, it was natural to sing in Bengali, but I heard the music differently from how my parents would hear it. And so my interpretations of the music, or when I worked with musicians from here, tended to be slightly different than what had come previously. So in terms of the music you're creating, mm -hmm. um, how much of a conscious effort do you actually make to make sure there's a Bengali inspiration, a bit of Bangla in there? Is that something that's important to you or does it just happen if it fits creatively? It's important to me depending on why I'm working on a piece of music. So for a piece that I'm doing for theatre, um, its primary purpose is to serve the story. Uh, and if the story happens to be a Mingoli one, then that's a whole different case as well. So it really depends. Um, generally speaking, I, I obviously I do favour uh, singing in Bengali and highlighting where I'm from and what my heritage is, simply because, um, as I said, my interpretation of it is different. And the world music scene, um, a lot of parts of the world are represented. Bengali is, I would say, generally underrepresented on the world music scene. So it's nice to be able to actually work on that as well. I hope you enjoyed hearing all about Sohini Alam's incredible musical journey. Oitijo Presents will be back soon.